come on in, come on in. <laughs> As you can see, the lovely Carol is uh, with me uh, this week. Now, what a week. Whoa. It was quite eventful, wasn't it? You can say that again, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it really was. And during the course of this week's vlog, the, the whole story will unravel to a little bit. First of all, we suffered a mains power outage on Morningstar. This has left us uh, in a situation, or left us in a situation, um, where we had to know live electricity we couldn't therefore do the live feeds and we were pretty restricted on what we could do really couldn't we yeah uh, so it was almost like um, going to bed when it got dark and getting up when it got light uh, it was just quite a novel felt like a caveman didn't we <laughs> Something we, like that yeah. so the cruise yeah. this week is from market drayton to adderley locks now <clears throat> Two, well, there were three things. First of all, as you'll see, we helped a very elderly gentleman with his water because he was unable to connect his hose, wasn't he? <laughs> and what then happened? What happened, Ian? Oh, yeah, we was travelling along uh, with a cup of tea and a uh, coffee up on, on top on top of the boat and uh, ginger nut biscuits in a container and it blew straight off the boat into the canal. <laughs> No biscuits. <laughs> no container. No container. <laughs> Carol's fault. <laughs> no, it was the wind's fault. You heard it here it first, the, folks. <laughs> it was the wind's fault. <laughs> so, so then we thought, oh, we'll have a nice gentle cruise. So the yeah. wind got up and was blowing from our port side to get trying to push us onto our, our starboard side, the right-hand side bank, all the way down. And we were enjoying quite a cruise, really. It was quite pleasant, it was wasn't lovely. it? Beautiful, lovely. Until we got between bridges 67 <laughs> and 66. <laughs> hmm. That's when everything sort of went um, up in the air. Now, the first thing that happened was Carol went down to make a drink. Well, I was really, really thirsty, to be perfectly honest. And I said, just get me a can of um, Tango or something. Oh, other brands are available, I should say that. <laughs> Um, and then, um, as you will see from the footage, uh, there was a puppy in difficulty in the canal and the owners were shouting from the canal side. Now this poor little puppy um, was not making any headway and was disappearing below the water in ever increasing um, seconds. Now, all I could do, all I could think of doing was to come up behind the puppy, which is what I did. And unfortunately, the actual uh, events that followed uh, aren't recorded because I didn't have a camera on the, uh, on the <coughs> stern. But basically what happened was, as I came up behind the puppy, the puppy disappeared below the waterline. I leant down over the stern of the boat, put my hands under the water, felt the collar of the dog and hooked it up um, and half on board. At that point... I came up and seen Ian lying across the back of the boat. Thinking oh, I'd collapsed. Or something had happened to him. So that got quite exciting, didn't it? So yeah. I had people on the bank screaming at the dog and I had this one screaming at me, so no. <laughs> asking if I was all right. <laughs> And in between, I had a very wet dog shaking itself and splashing water all over my legs. Mm. <laughs> it was an interesting, interesting moment. Uh, and as you will then see, and I'll explain what happened uh, after that event, but I'm pleased to say the puppy uh, seemed to be OK. The owners were very grateful. And we continued on our cruise where we went to our first locks, where you did your first, um, really... Solo locks, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. All in this week's vlog. Isn't it exciting? Oh it's gosh. a blockbuster, isn't it? <laughs> I tell you what, let's get on with it. Helped a lovely a gentleman whose hose wouldn't reach at the services here at Market Drayton. It's time to move on. Now, um, as we were there, uh, CRT were very busy relaying all the towpaths. And as you can see here, the Harris fencing has sprung up 
and uh, stop in uh, anyone from mooring along there. And unfortunately, someone did. So they put the Harris fencing up around his boat. I'm not sure if that's to protect his boat or to stop him getting back on his boat. Ah, good old CRT. Probably here there's a fair amount of wind noise. Um, it was in fact, despite the beautiful uh, sunny day, it was a very very blustery day as well. And on more than one occasion the wind really did gust across us. And at one point, uh, just before that bridge we've just gone under, uh, the uh, biscuits, complete with my lovely ginger nuts, got blown overboard, never to be seen again. I just hope the fish enjoy a good old ginger nut. I'm leaving Market Drayton behind us and uh, heading north again. Uh, past uh, some lovely scenic uh, linear moorings, uh, privately owned of course, here on the starboard side. And before long we are entering a beautiful stretch of a canal with um, dappled shade from the overhanging trees and all is peaceful and calm. Now I should say that at this point when we were in Market Drayton we suddenly ran out of power on board the Morning Star. The problem with that turned out to be that my main automate, alternator that uh, looked uh, to recharge the leisure batteries had failed. Now we did in fact call out uh, Canal and River Rescue. Uh, they were very kind enough to find the problem for me um, but as it had nothing to do with the momentum of the boat, um, were unable to assist me. Uh, there therefore followed some hectic telephone calls. Can anybody help me with an alternator? And despite there being a wharf opposite and they helping me with telephone numbers, nobody could get to me for two weeks. So much of the Shropshire Union Canal, there are stretches which are very, very scenic with open farmlands and fields adjoining it and with the actual canal covered in dappled shade from these beautiful overhanging trees. I can imagine the autumn coming down here would be absolutely beautiful. It is a shame though that in many cases the trees have a some part time in the past fallen into the canal they've been cut off but they've not been cleared totally so you do have to be careful of obstructions in this case on our starboard side but they are few and far between
So before the uh, dramatic events of the day occur, let's just take a few minutes to enjoy a quiet, relaxing cruise with just a little bit of lovely music.
for going so well. In fact, uh, Carol went downstairs to make a lovely a drink for us. A cup of tea would be most welcome. Unfortunately, as we mentioned earlier, the ginger nuts disappeared, so I was without those. In fact, it was a beautiful day and we were really enjoying this cruise. If only we knew what lie beyond the next bridge. So um, with the bow camera you can actually see the events begin to unfold and I will talk you through the others because unfortunately uh, there was no uh, camera on my stern. But as I came under the bridge I could see uh, some people on the towpath here shouting to their dog. Now what you haven't seen because I haven't shown a lot of it is that the uh, dog which was a four month old Labrador puppy was disappearing below the water and not coming back up for a while. You can see that it's struggling. So I brought the boat alongside, cut the engine, laid down across the stern and put my hands in the water. I fortunately found the collar of the dog who was underwater at the time and managed to pull him back on board. I think it's uh, quite true to say that the uh, two ladies were getting quite agitated about this poor puppy and I ma as I say I managed to pull it on board but of course the boat in the wind was going all over the place because there was no forward motion at all and as you can see now I'm running aground on the offside. However the puppy was safe was busily shaking itself dry all across my lily white legs at which point Carol came out from the cabin saw me lying down and um, went into a bit of a panic wondering what had happened to me but uh, fortunately I was all right and I managed to get Carol to hang on to the puppy so that I could uh, retrieve the boat from the uh, sediment on the offside. But now, of course, I had the problem of getting the puppy back to its owners. Yeah, I was able to get um, the uh, boat to come off the sediment and to then uh, get back out into the centre of the canal. Of course, the Shropshire Union is known for the Shropshire Shelf. So my first attempt to try and to get close enough to pass the puppy to the owners uh, basically meant that I hit the shelf, which I didn't like the sound of very much either.
my second attempt uh, to get into the bank worked when so I was hanging on to Carol Carol was hanging on to a puppy and leaning over the canal and the owners managed to grab the collar and bring the puppy safely back onto the towpath on stroppy shelf again but the problem I now had was that we got the puppy safely onto the towpath but the wind was gusting at that moment really badly uh, against uh, pushing me against the towpath and it took a fair bit of time to actually get uh, Morning Star back off and in the end uh, the only way to do it was to reverse off to get back on a straight line in that way which is what I managed to do With all the excitement behind us, it's uh, time to head through this here bridge and descend the Addersley Locks. So the Adderley Locks gave Carol the opportunity to uh, do locks again solo and I think it was the first solo locks. Uh, before we go down the Audland flight uh, which will be in next week's uh, vlog. This particular set of five locks is not too bad and they're relatively easy to operate. foot of Adderley Locks there is a lovely mooring. You can't actually see, because I didn't video it, the actual view to our port side, the left side, which is all over open fields. But if only we knew what fate awaited for us. One thing's for sure, the gods were not with us this particular day. 
there you go, safely moored up at the bottom of Atterley Locks. And if you thought that was the end of our troubles... No. What's next week's vlog? <laughs> to find out more in the enthralling <laughs> adventures of Ian and Carol aboard Morning Star. <laughs> <laughs> It's certainly been eventful. <laughs> Say that again. <coughs> oh dear. So, thank you to everyone who subscribes to all of my social media channels, especially to YouTube and to my Facebook family. Those that follow me on Instagram and Twitter, thank you all very much. You all mean so much to me. And I am so very grateful for all your support. <coughs> So that just leads me to thank you again for watching this week's vlog. I look forward to you joining us next week for the continuing saga. <laughs> it never ends, does it? No. <laughs> Have yourselves a really good week. Stay healthy. Enjoy the summer, what's left of it. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I hope the winter's not too severe for you. So until we meet again next week, this is Ian on Morning Star, along with Carol. Carol. That's, that's Carol, yeah. <laughs> and we'll catch up with you then. Until then, ta-da.